floats. No. The the Steve Jobs stuff. Steve Jobs, not Bill Gates. Steve Jobs stuff is based off of floats, which is a number concept that was invented back in the forty or before computers. That means you have a it's not integral. It's based on it's trying to imitate grayness as well as possible. Are we talking about a floating point float FPU? Yeah. FPU. FPU. Yeah. Right. But if there's also ints too, which are integral. Right. And you can make a program that is uses this is this program is called just ints and it only uses ints. So if I tune things you hear it has like that harmonic kind of sound? Right. That's because it's using integral math. Each one of these boxes is a ratio. Okay. Like a top over a bottom. Like Harry Parch mm -hmm. yeah. was into just intonation. Yeah. 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 Just intonation and then yeah. just ints. Purely mathematical relationship between them. Purely integral. integral as math. in like they're there's only zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. Not zero point zero zero one. It's not gray between the numbers. Okay. So that's why it has that. And that's been something I've been interested in recently. Because it's really, like, I have this dialectic between analog and digital. Like, my other company's analog. Mm -hmm. You hear it with that. It's very... You know, with analog, you can have any pitch relationship you want. Mm. It's random or mm. whatever. But when this guy, I have a business partner, and he asked me, what what would it be like if we had a USB Sidrazi organ? Or mm. So it sends this data, but also just like a symbol of it being digital was I was trying to honor that by using just ints and also ints are lower power so for a green business you know the instrument uses less power I mean seriously floats use about 60 times as much power that's right. why like an iPhone gets hot okay. or an iPad well they used to get really hot you uh -huh. know? hot uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is all going to be on YouTube tomorrow. okay so it's I, I want to push it as far as you can with ints, just seeing what ints can do. And it turns out it makes some pretty sweet intervals come out. I can turn on some. Let me turn on some modulations. These are self-modulating property synthesizer. You'll notice, I don't know if you know what the Maryland flag looks like, no. but it's based on red and white and yellow and black. So you came up, I mean, each program is coming up with a totally new uh, visual interface. Yeah, this is programmed from scratch. And then people have to learn the interface to know how to... Or you kind of like the idea of them not knowing quite how to control it. I them. like them not knowing. Right, so it's just very intuitive. Yeah. I mean, but the blue... You could basically know that the blue ones are going to change your pitch movement. They're going to move the pitches around. And... Top is harmonic and bottom is U harmonic, as in... Well, I could do a simple demonstration of that, I think, if I turn off modulation. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to tune just this one. Oh. See, I'm moving... That's the top number. I'm moving up and down. Mm hmm Just by going from one key to the Yeah. Squishing it up and down. But now I'm going to move the bottom. It needs to settle. Sorry. It has a settling thing. Okay, 
now I'm going to move the bottom part of the ratio. And this is a ratio, as in like 5 over 4, over 7 over 4. Oh. And if I move the bottom down, that's called eutonality, which is not heard in acoustic instruments. Mm -hmm. It's only heard in electronic instruments. So in just intonation, you have both harmonic and euharmonic. Right. The harmonic, if you play like a trumpet, and it goes do 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 that's harmonics. Uh. But then you harmonics are the inverse of that, so I can sing from whatever note. Do 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 do. They go down, and they're basically sad. They're minor. Sounding like it, like you lose and it can go again. Game over. You know, yeah. Do 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 do. My stepmom's gas went out because of the earthquake, and all the heaters made this sound. <laughs> do 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 do. Right. So basically, yeah, you have. I can move both of them around. It's kind of like a video game. Yeah. And actually, this sounds pretty eight bit. Although yeah. it has more than eight bits. Right. So all those combined. Now this thing in the middle, these black guys, I can change them. Now if I move, that's, well let me explain what it is first. I'm bringing it in and I'm going to move it to a little, I'm going to move it to a little triangle. And that means three. So you'll hear that, well some of these, like that one is stuck on a higher prime limit. This is a prime limit. Mm -hmm. That's three. So it's going to make everything sound really sweet. Basically. So it's, it has some modulations, some ex, extra modulations going on. Like, what's that? <laughs> if you care, but... I can, I'm going to turn on some... This is FM modulation oh. that I'm doing now. Um... You'll hear in a second once I've done clicking them all. Right. It makes it noisy and cool. But I can turn this off. Oh, I thought. Yeah, there you go. So now it's just the sweeties. And because it's a three, you can understand these ratios. You can see these piling us ups of triangles here. Mm -hmm. They're little. And that means that everything's like either a 3 or a 9 or a 6 or a 12 or a 24 numbers that are based on 3 or 2. Right. 3 at the most. Right. This is the prime one. But then if I bring it up, I just unlocked it, so now it's going up and that black guy's going to get bigger. And now it's... The prime limit is beyond, it's going to be beyond our comprehension. Right? It's like 117 or something. And now it's a just intonation beyond what Harry Parch would have considered constant. Oh. Which is cool. Yeah. You can do that with computers. And this is like, what is squishing in? modulation back on because you can when you compound it with FM you hear how crazy it is. So let me try to find another one. I got a P with knobs on that? Yeah. Because that would make a lot more sense. Then you can tune each pitch. Right. But the way it was designed was to have arbitrary pitches. Okay. Because actually something Stefan Trebnin is into and he showed me was the random melody, random voltage generator to the random melody generator on the uh. surge or on the boucle where it goes like do 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 yeah. do do And just tell me again what is the name of the instrument? Sidrazi. Sidrazi. Sidrazi organ. Organ by Seat Lombard. The Seat Lombard is part of a series of names that I compose on a mushroom trip, and they're stores at the mall. 
Seat Lombard is my analog company. Shibobo is my digital company. And there's more. There's I E S Cole S Mobinthi is my kids music company. And so on. But anyway, it's the Sidrazi or Sidra means seven in this language. Okay. And there's also a Tetrazi, which is for clubs, and it has a really funky bass sound. This this is based off triangle waves. Okay. So it has that purity in the when I turn the chaos knob down. They're all very pure sounding because they're they sound like they're sine waves, but they're actually triangle waves. Okay. Well, they're triangle waves saturated to sound like sine waves. But so, and how does the circuit bending? Okay, let's work? do the circuit bending. It would be really good if we had gotten a alligator, but actually we can use any chord. Uh huh. And I mean, you know, circuit bending, right? You remember the circuit bending in noise and where people got their speaking spells and they poked around on the inside. Well, that was, this is a weird thing. Let's see. The cool thing is, this is a two-sided instrument, so if I work on this back side, I can just, what I need is like a pillow type, a makura. Then I can, I can work back here and then I can hear all the seven bars. So, this is ground, so I know that's connected to that, so I'm going to be here. There's a slight. There's a change. So that circuit bending is where you get some really unpredictable results yeah. by just poking and prodding it. These are actually labeled and they're inputs and outputs. And I can actually give you a little piece of paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven are the seven bars oh. from left to right, right on the front. Yeah. And then within each bar, there's there's six items. Right. So let me try. It's really not really the right chord. So it does what the chaos knob does, but the chaos knob does it in a uniformly even way over all the no over all the bars, mm -hmm. and this does it in a like piece by piece basis. And then what I can, I might be able to show you with my hand. I can do this with my hand, circuit bending it. And then if I have my hand back there, let me get it really wet. So it's really definitely circuit bent. <laughs> so you get it, wow. you know? And then right. if I turn up this knob, the chaos knob, then it'll yeah. be double the circuit bent. Okay. So it's actually gonna get to a point. If you use this if you use wires with it, you'll hear it kinda like fall apart. I don't know, you know, how it's better with wires because then you can go like you can put the wires on you can wire it up uh -huh. and then flip it over and be it's a really experimental phase that you're putting it in. Right. And then you turn it up the doubly modulation and you go well, it goes like <laughs> Yeah. 